Hey, I'm gonna teach another tutorial on David Choi's by my side. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because the other video it wasn't as great, and plus it was on a smaller guitar. It's not on a bigger guitar. So I did get a little bit better at it. Um, I did learn a few more things from watching more live shows from David. Um, so I guess I should start now. Um, what you do is you bar the second fret with your pointer finger and if you don't know what barring is barring is you you have to use your whole finger to cover all these strings and you see these little little things right here those things are for helping you to actually bar so when you bar chords don't bar like way back here kind of bar up here like that so the first thing you do is you bar the second fret and you use your middle or your ring finger to go on the fourth fret of the fifth string. So, and then you just strum down after that. So, like that. And then you use your pinky to go on the fourth fret of the second string. And then after that, you'll be sliding up like that so it makes this like that so let me do it for you did you hear that so if you can't make that you can just go like if you want um then after that you bar your fourth fret and then you pretty much make the same chord but this time you use your middle finger to go on, on the fifth fret of the second string and then after that you use your pinky to go on the second or not second fret um you go you use your pinky to go on the seventh fret of the second string so it'll be like this So back from the beginning. And after that, you'll be making this weird chord like this. Like that. So what you do is you put your first finger on the fifth fret of the second string. You put your your pinky on the third string on the sixth fret. You use your ring finger to go on the sixth fret of the fourth string, and then you use your middle finger to kind of bar these two strings up here. Or what you can originally do, it pretty much mute it. This you pretty much mute the fifth string, but pretty much put your middle finger on the sixth string on the sixth fret. And try to bar it if you can, but if you can't, it, it's still fine. It still sounds fine. And what you can do is, you can hit this high E too, if you want. I don't know, my bird. And or you can just not hit it, so it makes this this nice tone. And so let's do it from the beginning. gonna go bite my neck again Ow. <laughs> so <laughs> after the after your um oh no he's biting me that one um what you do is you bar you use your first finger to bar <laughs> you use your first finger to bar the first and second strings of on the fifth fret you use your middle finger to um, go on the third string on the sixth fret. You use your pinky. You put it on your on the fourth string on the seventh fret, and then you use your 
middle finger again or no no you use your ring finger and you put it on the seventh fret of the sixth string so it makes and then you strum down so let me do it for you again Now that's the opening. Um, after that, you pretty much come up to the seventh fret, and you bar the whole strings except for the low E. And you use your three fingers here to mm, put on make an A basically. You don't know what A is. It's just like down here, and you put your three fingers on this string this string this string so basically your fingers on the second fret of the second third and fourth string but it's way down here instead um, you can it'll make this noise after you're barring it and so after that it's um, a pluck and a down strum now some more advanced people they would just use one finger and then it will pretty much mute the high E but it still sounds fine if you mute the high E if you want um, so it sounds like this if you use one finger oh, that was too high if you're more advanced you can actually follow those three things without hitting that high E So after that, you make your pointer finger bar the whole seventh fret, and you make this E major chord. If you don't know what E major is, E major is like this. So it would be like your middle finger on the right here on the fifth string on the second fret, your um, ring finger on the fourth string of the second fret and your pointer finger on the first fret of the third string but then that's E major but you've been doing it all the way down here at the seventh fret while barred so and it's the same pattern so it's like this so and then after that you slide down to the fourth fret to bar the f you bar the fourth fret like this, and you make this E minor chord, and it's like A something, but it's E it's basically like an E minor barred at the fourth fret. And if you don't know what E minor is, it's just like E major, but you just take off this finger, like that, and in the same pattern. And the funny thing is, you just slide up one, and then you make an E major chord again. So I'll do it from the beginning. And then you would do that again. If you're doing down strums, so the second time you go through that down strum on your last chord, you only hit it three times, and then on your fourth time, you would come down here. So that chord right here is your first pointer finger on the fourth fret of the sixth string, your middle finger on the fourth fret of the um, fourth string, your ring finger on the third string on the fourth fret too, and David Choi he does it like opening like that. 
Mm-hmm. Or another version is you can use your pinky and put it on the fourth fret of the second string too. It sounds fine too. But David Troy plays it without it. So after that, you like down strum it once. And then when you hit that, when you come down here, David Troy kind of does like a strum like this. And then after that, you go to this B7 chord, and it's your middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string, your pointer finger on the third, wait, no, on the fourth string on the first fret, your ring finger on the third string of the second fret, and your pinky on the first string on the second fret. And it's the same pattern and then it goes back to that first chord again and then when you go back to that B7 again you won't play you only strum it once so let me do that from the beginning This is the co- main chorus, and it's a E, and then <laughs> that weird chord again, up to the fourth fret, and then it goes down to some C something, and then it's up one like this. So it's E chord right here, and then remember that one where you bar the fourth fret and you you make that E minor chord and then after that you go down you like you move one string down move one string move all your fingers down one string and you use your middle finger and put it on the second string of the fifth fret so it makes this noise and then you pretty much slide it over one and then you move all your string all your fingers up one string again And then his strumming pattern, he does a lot of different strumming patterns in some of his live videos. There's one where he's palm muting, like that, or he plays it open. Or he kind of does the same chord like this. you're done playing that fourth one again you go way back down to the E E again but what David Troy does is he kind of palm mutes it too so it goes like this I think I don't I'm not really good and I can't sound like David Troy when I do it so what he actually does is he strums down like If you hear that different variation, you use your pinky and you put it on the third string on the second fret. But it kind of—I can't really describe it. Where you, when you hit it, you kind of just gotta listen for it and feel it. It's just like. And after you do it the second time. You do your verses again, you know. 
open this wrong chord. So let me do it from the chorus again. get it after all that you do it all over again and then you do your ch chorus again but this time when you finish your chorus the second time I think um, you come to the bridge and the bridge um, it's it's like this chord but it's it starts at the C chord thing so you're barring the fourth fret except for the low E and you're making that chord again so and then after that you bar the fourth fret and you make that e minor chord and then you just raise it up make the e major chord and then you skip two uh, you skip a step up so that means skip being two frets yeah like that so it goes something like this time you just throw it once and then you do your chorus all over again Another version is well. I I see him when he's performing Malaya. I think oh, I got it wrong. Um, when he plays that high chord, and he does something like this. He moves his finger over and then he makes that chord. But I suggest not doing it because it it confuses people. So. And the other one version is the playing the A minor. Um, so let me do the ending part for the A minor. So it starts like. I pretty much took the same amount of time as last time, uh, but it's, it's, it should be fine. Um, uh, if it's if, uh, if I went too fast for you, I guess you can rewind rewind it and watch it over and over again. Or you can watch my other video where I'm playing with the smaller guitar. Uh, and that one, it, I guess, is much more detailed to do it. This one's more faster for more advanced, I guess. And I guess I'll make another version because I do know another version how to play this song and it's a little bit easier because you don't bar chords as much because it's more mostly open. So I pretty much hope you enjoyed it. 
See you later.